What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Today is story time with your girl. So I want to tell y'all this story about an uh, amazing, ugly, hideous possum that I saw. And I can see it on the clip on the... So, once upon a time. Well, it's not really once upon a time, y'all. So I, was, I came to work, and what I usually do is I usually take a walk before I start my shift. And I usually go through the block, and I'm walking. I'm walking with a, a cute little dog named Lola. I don't know if she would want y'all to see her because she's tired as much time as she's just all sleeping. So basically, I'm walking. But I was in the spirit, y'all, and I was praising God, and I was worshiping. Have you ever been walking like you've been lost in the spirit, like just worshiping? You don't know what's going on. You don't care what's going on, East Coast, West Coast. All you know is you're worshiping and you're giving God glory and praise. And this is the time where I'm on fire for Christ. I'm, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I look at a banana and it tells me something that God is telling me. I'm looking at the lamp and it tells me something that God showing me. And so I'm walking down the block. And I had the dog, but I, I wasn't paying attention to the dog that was in my hand. And I walk, I hit the curb, I hit the turn, and I turned. But I'm still praying, and I'm worshiping, and I'm praying. My prayer is on fire. And all of a sudden, I finish praying, you know, I, I, bless, I bless the name of the Lord. You know, I, I say my goodbyes to the Lord. And shall I open my eyes to where my help comes for the other. <laughs> While I'm open my eyes, while I'm turning around, I see a possum that looks dead in the middle of the street, y'all. And I'm like, what the heck is that? And I say, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. What the heck is bothering me? And I say, Lord, I'm in despair. I need to get back in the natural because I'm seeing things. And I come back and I say, no, that's a possum. I gotta go back to get back to the crib. Oh man, and I'm just walking. And I'm looking at Pastor, I'm like, it's dead. But I remember somebody told me, oh, they be faking like they dead. So now here I go, I gotta get past the possum to get home. So I'm looking, I'm scared. I'm so scared, I'm about to pump on myself. And I'm looking, I'm like, who gonna come out and help me? Because I said, I know. I know white people don't be scared of no possum. They be like, oh, hi, look at the cute possum. I say, somebody can come get this night because I am scared right now. And I don't know who's going to come. I say, I can't go get back home. I say, oh, my God. And I'm looking around, I say, ain't finding no help. Mm -hmm. Not in this side of town. Not going to find no help. And so I'm just thinking in my head, Lord. I say, and I'm saying the verse in my head, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? I'm scared like a rock. I'm saying it, but with no faith, because I'm like, my hell, oh, if that possum just, and I'm walking, I said, I got to get back, I got to go work. So I'm tiptoeing, I'm tiptoeing, I'm like, you better stay dead, or you better keep playing dead, because I will fight you. And I'm walking, I'm like, oh, Lord. But little did I know the possum was scared of Lola, and I didn't know that. Cause I don't play with possum. I don't really look at them. If I find them, I'm going the other way. I, I can't be bothered. Uh -uh. And I'm, my eyes, you know, I got big eyes. So I'm looking all in the possum, and Lola decides she wanna um, she wanna poop near the possum. And I said, girl, you better keep, you better poop somewhere. You better poop further on. And she just pulled me and poop. Well, while she pooping, I'm looking. I'm close to the possum, so I'm looking into the possum. Yeah, I swear for God. The possum is right there. And I'm like, no. The possum looks like it's alive. Why his eyes look open? And I'm like, no, I'm saying something to myself. That's not true. That's not what I see. And I'm like, yeah, but the eyes look open. And, and you know, I'm from Little Haiti, so I'm all peeking. I'm like, hold up. It's the eyes. She was scared of Lola. 
So when I hit the corner, something told me to look back because I, I don't play with no damn fly. I'm not the people in the TV movies that just keep running and seeing and not looking because you know I'm big. I'm already Chuck Year. I'm not finna keep I'm not finna keep walking fast and kinda running with the walk to not look back to see if I could okay if I could take the breath or not. I'm running, I'm like I'm running down, I said, let me stop. Let me stop. stop. I kinda look back and I seen the possum was not there. It was gone. How about that? I don't want to pass away. And I'm looking out like, oh, she's true, it's probably in my head. And, and I'm looking, I'm like, what? What a damn big possum way, y'all? The possum tricked me. Yep. I went home, and I was all out of breath and junk because I was scared. I said, maybe it went in the garage to try to wait for me inside the house. Maybe it's just lurking somewhere. And you know, I was all bit out of shape, so I see the cat. And I was like, <laughs> I was, everything, everything was spooking me. I was like, damn, I seen a uh, iguana. I seen a, I seen a lizard. I was so scared. But afterwards, I realized the memory, the uh, moral of the story. And it, this is very profound, guys. Very powerful. When you're in Christ. Stay fixated in Christ. Don't you walk through the valley of the shadow of death. You don't have to fear no evil. When I went through that possum, I didn't notice it because I was grounded in the word of God. I was praying and I was worshiping. So therefore, I was fixated on God. So therefore, I didn't see the possum. But when I stopped praying and when I kind of took my eyes off the fact that, okay, I'm done talking to God. Then I saw this big possum. That's when I saw disaster. That's when the calamity struck. That's when I started to hibernate. That's when I started getting nervous. That's when the, the, the attack started hitting me like inside the attack. Like, I'm going to get on. Go help me. Help me, please. Help me, please. Because if I nobody help me, that's when I start getting discouraged. Like, I'm, I'm not going to make it home because I'm about to go all the way to the other side of the road. But I was like, damn, I can't walk. If I'm going to get tired, I got no water bottle in my hand. So, guys, I got home. The possum was not in my doorway. And God was watching me. He was covering me. God is so awesome, y'all. If y'all just give him a chance, I'm telling y'all, give him a chance. I know these preacher nine days, they don't tell you to repent, don't nothing. But I'm just telling y'all, if y'all give him a chance, man, give him a shot, man. Sometimes y'all waste your time with these friends and these people. Y'all think, Lord, y'all need. All they doing is telling y'all business to the next person. So the next person looking at you like, I already know you, even though I, I don't, I, you don't even know me. You know, I'm so in. It's crazy, but that's, that's the life we live in, and that's what how it is and I thank God for that experience it showed me something it showed me that I had to stay fixated on the word of God and not of this world to not be conformed of this world but to be conformed of the word of God only and stuff and I know that there's times where I have to be at work I have to go to the grocery I have to be in the street I have to be in the car and you know I put I still put my worship in the car there's ways to live in with Christ even when you're going throughout your whole day. And I know since I would lose track of all of that because of the distraction, but I'm telling you guys, it was a beautiful experience. It showed me something. And God spoke through that ugly person. I saw I saw a story to it. I saw the meaning and I saw the moral to it. And it changed my life forever for good to stay concentrated on what I'm doing or what I'm what I want in life and that's all I need to keep on pushing you know cause God got me he with me I ain't gotta go by myself I ain't gotta look left I ain't gotta look right just stay fixated to him whatever you want in this right now I'm telling you right now in the name of Jesus if you call it out God will give it to you stay focused stay focused stay focused I don't care who you are stay focused stay focused whatever you want you want to go to school you want to graduate stay focused you can do it you can do it. If God said you can do it, you can do it. If the word of God said you can do it, you can do it, man. You can do it. Believe in yourself and believe in the word of God. And that's the story for today. Y'all should give me a shout out and tell me how y'all liked that story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Story with you.
your girl. <laughs> I love y'all. Have a great day. Remember to like, share, and tell me thumbs up if you liked it. I got more story coming up, so share with your girl.